Leash walking with Ali, of course, is a very important uh, subject to cover. So I just want to show you how a couple of different examples of what I've been doing. If she's on free time, yeah, you could always call her to come to you and then do the whole sit thing and then okay and walk with her. Or if she's on, if, if you're just here, if she's already there, like she, I could call her to come to me, but she's only two feet away. Just hold the leash like you're gonna walk her, which is I put this over my thumb and I take up the slack like this with my right hand. My left hand holds it right here. She's on our left, of course. The part of the leash that goes to her comes out the back of your hand and you're gonna relax your your left arm, you're not going like this or you're not tense, just relax it. If you're gonna do a prompt to kind of tap her, to slow her down, it's just straight back like that. It's not up, it's not jerky, it's not, and it really it's not an extreme jerk either. So it's just like this, that's all she needs. It's very sensitive. So um, let's say that she's just like that and you wanna get her on the clock, you just take the leash the way I just told you, step into her and then, okay, then she's next to you. Or you could, okay do that and say sit but then make sure you say okay that no, makes her know that she can walk with you because as you saw in the the sit stay video sit she'll stay there unless she hears the command that means she's thinking she's not following your body as if uh, you know she's on automatic pilot she's gonna stay there until you do the command okay so that's really something you want to be super careful with. Always say the voice command, okay, so that she's always with you thinking, okay? That's really important. And you can even practice with that stepping away. And I didn't even tell her to SIT, but she did it anyway. But you can step away and practice that walking around thing. You want to be able to communicate with her like she's a person and she's listening to your words, not just following your body on automatic pilot because you move that's not really good training so we're gonna do a little walking okay leash walking I've done a lot of this okay walking along doing left circles complete left circle all the way around sit rewarding her good and then okay just walking down a street or walking down a, a, um, a sidewalk or something walking like 10 feet straight and then doing a left circle and sit good and then okay walking six or eight feet ten feet left circle all the way around at the end of the circle sit good if you do six of those a day it'll take you a minute and a half or less and then you can go release her to be free and then maybe you just do a few and then let her be free and then do a few more Good. Sit. Uh, it's up to you, but just do it in the way you see me doing it here. Going left draws her back next to you. You see that there's no pulling. Okay. Going left into her keeps her next to you, and you're, you're imprinting this new pattern of behavior where she's always next to you because of what you, you do with your body. Don't ever go like this because you're going to end up pulling her around. That's something I never do and I've never done and it shouldn't be done until she has really good training. Then she'll be, there's a way to do that to make right turns and she'll be at your side like glue if you do it like this for a while. So always step into her. Plus you need that dominant move where your body shows her where to go because every time you do that move, for example, even if I want to go right, it's my opportunity to do that move to go left to go right, and you've given her another dose, another message that you, okay, have become dominant. So always do that move when you're walking her. Always step into her, have her get out of your way, and do exactly what you see, see me doing here. Um, the one other thing is that, okay, if she lags behind, don't pull her. The whole thing is no leash tension. Uh, I've mentioned many times before. This kind of stuff just makes her feel like you've lost control and you're forcing her to do something. And that's not real training. So when you're walking, okay, if she slows down, just exert some leadership skills and like bring some more energy out of yourself and say, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on. And she'll catch up and she'll think, oh, okay, she's, she's leading me. She's in charge. So that's what you want to do. You never want to drag her around. Just coax her to catch up and she will. She'll catch up. And even if you're having some kind of problem with that, okay, she catches up, 
Good. Be down there with a the reward, right where you want her head to be. Okay. And then also, as you can see, I've been doing, but I just want to point it out in this video, right before I turn, I'm going to slow down and turn, I do a little prompt. Okay, come on. Little prompts. It's a prompt. Like you're tapping the brakes and turn. Okay. See how I'm doing it? Just a little prompt and then turn. It's not jerking, causing pain. So you, know, you know how sensitive she is. Okay. And so you know that these are very gentle and it's all she needs. It's just like a tapping the brakes to slow her down and then you can turn into her. And the leash is always, always loose. So there's your little leash, walk, leash walking uh, lesson there with Allie. Okay, let's go.